after, especially for fish monitoring, like especially for things like Sudi Granta and you know, slightly more commercially or culturally significant species, is that usually, so I grew up um, doing electro fishing. I'm not sure whether Tansy demoed that for you before. No, I do it in Mark Kennard, a good mate of mine. Um, I do it in So basically, usually you stomp into a river and it's bit less of a problem in a big river like this but usually so I usually put up a picture of a small creek and me in a small creek with a big electrofisher and then I say that is reality that's what I measure there but then there's so many problems with that because you know there's kind of like a 6'3 German popping into to the river the fish just flee I mean we, we do have block nets but they just hide and um, so A it's not reality B it injures the fish I mean, electrofishing is actually better for them than netting. You're talking um, about surveying. Yeah. Surveying, yeah. yeah. It, it, electrofishing is actually better for them than netting. But then the other thing is that during my PhD, which was one of the, you know, the, a PhD is usually the most intensive survey ever because you really focus on one area. But I still was only at each site three times um, in three years. So. We, we're basically claiming to say that, that oh, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so we're basically yeah. claiming to say we know what's there, but it's like, I've only sampled there for three times in three years. So what, you know, what if I sample at the wrong time of the day? So, you know, maybe, maybe during the day the fish are in another corner, um, you won't detect them. So basically, what you can do with this is um, you can just drop it in and you can actually leave it. So solar power, you can actually monitor it continuously, you don't, you don't injure the fish, and um, usually, I mean here, so the, the insects are pretty hardy, they really don't care what you do, but usually with fish, you usually wait for 5 or 10 minutes, so if there's a fish in there, you usually don't hear them at first, because they're a bit scared, and then after about 5 or 10 minutes, they, they just chill out, and they're kind of natural, and so, yeah, so that's, that's the reason why we use, use these techniques, because it's just a lot easier, and um, yeah, a lot, uh, a lot easier once you know what the fish are <laughs> and you can monitor continuously, basically. Mm.